What's up, Unstoppable Squad? Today we have another SmackDown full show results and thoughts for July 21st, 2023. Tonight promises another exciting night of action as Charlotte Flair goes one on one with EO Sky. Roman Reigns also returns tonight to confront Jay Uso. The updated match card is as follows. Charlotte Flair vs. EO Sky. Roman Reigns rules of acknowledge engagement with Jey Uso. United States Championship Invitational. Rey Mysterio and versus Sheamus vs. Cameron Grimes vs. LA Knight. The WWE SmackDown opener. The opening package for the show airs. Roman Reigns is shown walking backstage with Soul Sokoa and Paul Heyman. Here's my thought on my thought will be towards the end of that towards the end of the that segment. Um next we have United States Championship Inventational. Rey Mysterio versus Sheamus versus Cameron Grimes versus LA Knight. I'm going to talk to you guys my opinion and my thoughts about this as well after this match. Rey Mysterio's theme song plays and he walks to the ring. Sheamus' music plays and he walks to the ring. Cameron Graham's music hits and he walks to the ring. LA Knight's music plays next and he comes down to the ring. LA Knight says SummerSlam is around the corner and he wants to take that U.S. championship. He says he got three men that stand in his way, but one by one, everyone will fall. The match starts, and all the men start brawling. Rey Mysterio is sent outside. Knight sends Sheamus out to the ring. He hits a battering ram shoulder to Grimes and sends him out of the ring. Sheamus knocks down LA Knight. Grimes sends Mysterio into the barricade. Sheamus hits a rolling senton. Cover one. No, kick out. Sheamus sends Knight to the apron and hits a clothesline. Sheamus and Mysterio hit the 10 beats of the Bodran on Grimes and Knight. Sheamus hits the Irish whip, Irish cursed backbreaker on Mysterio. Grimes attacks both Mysterio and Sheamus and hits the Enziguri on Knight. He plants Mysterio. Cover. One. Two. No. Sheamus breaks it up. Sheamus with a backbreaker to Grimes. Knight drags Sheamus out of the ring and drives him onto the apron. Mysterio with a baseball drop kick on Knight. He sends Knight in the ring and climbs the top rope but is stopped. Sheamus power bombs Grimes who also takes out Knight and Mysterio. Go into commercial break. Mysterio with a hurricane is sending him into Theory's chair. Sheamus dives onto Mysterio and Grimes. He sends Grimes into the barricade. He hits a flying clothesline on Knight and follows it with a, a white noise. Cover one, two, no, a kick out. He goes for a bro kick, but Knight slams him. Cover one, two, no, Mysterio saves the match. Knight drives Sheamus to the mat. Cover one, two, no, Mysterio saves the, makes the save. Mysterio and Grimes collide in the ring. Mysterio with a hurricane on Sheamus and Grimes. He hits the 619 cover. One, two, no. Theory pulls him out of the ring and sends him into the steel steps. Santos Escobar comes out and attacks Theory, chasing him away. Knight hits the elbow drop. L. A. Knight. Yeah. Sheamus hits the bro kick. And he grimes. Hits the cave-in on Sheamus. Ray hits the her Karana for the win. Boo. Winner, Ray Mysterio. So, here's my thoughts and opinion on this. First, 
What the hell is going on with WWE not giving LA Knight the push? We all want that. It's like we are asked, we asked, we really asked Daniel Bryan to be pushed. We really asked um, Kofi Kingston to be pushed. We're asking LA Knight to be pushed and we're not getting it. How long is are we going to get LA Knight to get pushed? Is it going to be like so long like we waited for um Kofi Kingston and uh what's his name? Daniel Bryan? Like literally, LA Knight is way too over and he's not getting a title. Everyone likes him. I like him. And, you know, he's great. He's a great athlete. Love him or hate him, he's a great athlete. Deserves a championship. A world championship, actually. I'm sorry to say, that's my opinion and thoughts on this. They should give um, LA Knight a chance at the gold before he retires. Yes, Rey Mysterio versus... Um, Santos Escobar, but this, come on, protege versus whatever, it, come on, we can have that like in a match, regular match, you know, like a king in the ring match or something, give LA Knight a freaking push. Next, we have Charlotte Flair versus EO, well, here's the thing is, we... I think Santos Escobar is going to win this. Rey Mysterio is going to put up a good fight, but Santos is going to win, and they're going to both shake hands. And Santos is going to win the United States. Theory meets Piers backstage and says he wants a match against Santos Escobar tonight in a non-title match. Piers says he will make that official. Charlotte Flair, blah, blah, Charlotte Flair versus Io Sky. Charlotte Flair's music plays and she walks to the ring. We go commercial break. Io Sky's music plays and she walks to the ring with Bailey. The match starts and Charlotte knocks down Io. Okay, so Bailey's supposedly supposed to be hurt. Why is she out there if she's injured? Literally, she's actually injured. Apparently. Io Sky comes back with a drop kick. Flair with a big boot knocking Io Sky down from the apron. She goes for a dive and misses. Io hits a excuse me. Her Corona. Commercial break. Io hits the meteor. Cover one, two, no a kick out. Flair fights back with a fallaway slam. She then hits a clothesline. Cover. One, two, no, a kick out. Flair with a backbreaker. She hit, sets EO Sky on the top rope. Bailey distracts Flair and EO hits a sunset flip power bomb. Cover. One, two, no, a kick out. Shotzi appears on the Titan Tron and scares Bailey, who walks away from the ring in fear. Okay, but the thing is, she's not around the ring. Bailey. Sky goes for a moonsault, but she is stopped. Flair sent into the second turnbuckle. Io goes for the moonsault and misses. Flair then goes for a moonsault, but Sky gets her knee her boot up. Io Sky locks in the cross face, but Flair escapes. Sky goes for a missile drop kick, but Flair catches. Her and locks her in the Boston Crab. Yo Sky escapes and hits a drop kick. Flair hits a spear on Sky. Cover one, two, no, a kick out. Flair with a German suplex on Yo Sky. Flair recovers and gets the win. Winner Charlotte Flair. After the match, Asuka attacks Flair and locks in the armbar. Kayla inter. Okay, so. A lot of people are wondering why didn't Bianca Blair come out. She was supposed to be out there last night. But apparently Ringside News just reported that WWE had to change some 
um, change it around because Bianca Belair got caught COVID. So she's going to be out for a little bit. So that's why they changed the plans. I know COVID is not around, but the pandemic is not around anymore. But COVID is going to be still a thing, guys. Um, Caleb interviews Dominic, who says he wanted to show Ray what a real champion looks like. He says if Ray wins, he will be the champion of the U.S. while he is the champion of North America. Butch challenges him to a title match. Dominic says there is no one here from NXT to make it official. Shawn Michaels walks in and says the match sounds like a great idea and asked where uh, Adam Pierce's office is and he goes to try to make it an official. Roman Reigns is backstage. He looks at Solo Sokoa who nods back at him. Next, we have Austin Theory versus Santos Escobar. Austin Theory's music plays and walks to the ring. We have commercial break. Io and Bailey argue backstage. Bailey sees a photo of herself pinned to her, her baggage. Pinned to her baggage. Um, she asks Io to grab her things and they leave. Santos Escobar's theme song plays and he walk, comes out to the ring. The match starts and Escobar hits a drop kick. Theory comes back and attacks him in the corner. He then hits a DDT. Escobar attacks Theory in the corner. Cover one, two, no, a kick out. Escobar sends Theory out of the ring. Commercial break. Escobar hits an inscurry on Theory. He then hits a suicide dive. Theory gets dropped, gets back in the ring, and Escobar hits the, her karana. Theory sends Escobar to the apron. He comes back with a flying crossbody. Cover one, two, no, kick out. Theory with a neckbreaker to Escobar. He goes for a town down, but Escobar catches him with a boot to the face. He sets Theory on the top rope and hits a hurricanrana. He then hits <coughs> excuse me, the running knee in the corner and follows it with a phenom phantom driver for the win. Your winner, Santos Escobar. So when I was watching this, right, I was like, okay, so, wait, he won? He beat the champion? He's the new United States champion? I'm like, and then they said, and your winner, Santos Escobar. I was like, oh, so the title wasn't online because I didn't see the highlights of Austin Theory called out Escobar, you know? Lashley is backstage, and he is joined by Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams, and they start talking. So could we see the next Hurt Business faction? Because, listen, we had seen the Street Profits was talking to Bobby Lashley last week, and now we see Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams talking to Bobby Lashley. Hmm... I made an announcement of how the Bloodline storyline is being replaced by Judgment Day. But do you think that this is going to replace that? Both of these storylines. We'll have to find out and see what's going on. Can't wait to find out. NXT North American Championship is on the line with Dominic Mysterio as your champion versus Butch. Dominic Mysterio's music plays and he comes down to the ring with Rhea Ripley. Mommy. Commercial break. We go, come back. Butch's entrance music plays and he walks to the ring. The match begins and Dominic knocks down Butch. He comes back with a clothesline. Butch goes after the arm of Dominic. He goes for an arm bar, but Dominic gets to the rope. Rhea hands a steel chair to Dominic. Rhea distracts the referee. Ridge comes out and snatches the chair or chain. Butch slams Dominic. 
commercial break. Pretty Deadly comes out to the ring. Dominic plants Butch. Butch comes back and attacks Dominic in the corner. He kicks him across the chest. He then gets then hits a German suplex. Wilson attacks Ridge. Butch knocks down Wilson, who runs away. Ridge chases Prince away. Rhea attacks Butch. Dominic sends him into the post and picks up the win. Of course, Mommy would be there for Dommy. Dom Dom, Dirty Dom. Also, uh, the winner, Dominic Mysterio as your champion. All right, so uh, guys, I pull put up a poll asking who was the best heel in WWE right now, Rey Mysterio, uh, Dominic Mysterio, or Roman Reigns. A lot of you said Roman Reigns, but on Twitter, I even asked it on Twitter as well, and. A lot of the people on Twitter said Dominic Mysterio. So it's interesting how you guys said Roman and the people on Twitter said that it was Dominic. Say So Jay Uso's music plays and he walks to the ring. Commercial break. We come back from commercial break. Roman Reigns' music plays and he comes down to the ring with Solo Sokoa and Paul Heyman. Roman gets on the mic and asks Jay if he still wants to do this. Jay says he still wants to do this. And Roman is making him do this. Roman says Jay doesn't get it. He says Jay is just a pawn in this game. Roman Reigns signs the contract and passes it to Jay. Who tears it up. He says they don't need a contract. He says this is... Tribal combat now. Roman asked whether the elders know about this. Jay says it was their idea. He then lists the things he wants to do to Roman in the tribal combat. And those lists is hit him with a chair, put him through the announce table, put him through a table, um, some other stuff. I forget forgot what he said. And Roman asked. Him in the crowd to shut up. He then gets up. And keeps the title on the table. And agrees to the match. Jay repeats that it's. Tribal combat. Roman Reigns removes his tribal garland. And places it on the belt. They stare at each other down. Before Roman walks away. Sokoa. For the spike. But Roman Reigns stops him. And Jay super kicks Solo. Rain slowly walks away from the ring. This ends our live coverage of WWE SmackDown. But here's my thoughts on this. For the main, probably the main event of the show of SummerSlam. I'm going to be sitting there and watching this live. I might even do like a probably a live reaction video with you guys. Um, I might go live. On TikTok, I might go live on um, on YouTube. Who knows what I'm going to do yet. Um, hopefully, my, hopefully, good things will be happening next week um, before, you know, SummerSlam. Because I had SummerSlam off. So, I'm hoping things go the way it's supposed to be. So, cross our fingers. But... Guys, I feel like Jimmy's going to get involved and Solo's going to get involved, right? Solo's going to probably cost Jay the match. But my other theory is that what happens, say Jimmy does get involved, right? And Solo gets involved. I think. That Solo might cost. Roman Reigns that championship. He might turn on Roman Reigns. That's what I'm thinking. But what do you guys think? Do you think Roman Reigns. Will lose to Jay Uso. At SummerSlam. Let me know in the comments below. I'm unstoppable. And I'm. Ow. Hey everybody, it's your boy Skiz here. And if you don't subscribe to to Buan 
and the unstoppable denominator, then you are a toothy, bumfuck, pussy-ass bitch motherfucker.